My name is uh, Maria Voronsova, or BAT, um, and together with Nancy, we've been doing some very old-fashioned grass taxonomy and species occurrence work in Madagascar. Um, I think this is an excellent time to stop and have a little think about future research strategies for Madagascar grasslands, because this year is a 10-year anniversary of the Madagascar grass project. Um, on this slide, you can see our two big recent publications. The identification guide has big multicolored pictures to help attract everybody's attention to the grasses and to help the species be recognized. And in the atlas, we published everything we knew on the occurrence and distribution ranges of the different species. Um, here, I had a good time putting together a kind of collage of all everything we published in the last 10 years on the very basic taxonomy, typification, occurrence, checklists, and what they call floristics for Madagascar grasses. Um, a lot of this science is still done the same way people did it 200 years ago. We go out and we collect anything that looks like a grass. <laughs> We keep specimens in herbarium collections. We compare the specimens to each other and to all taxonomic literature. Um, in Madagascar, we have maybe up to 600 grass species. There are millions of specimens. And in the world, we have maybe 12,000 grasses with small distinguishing characteristics in their spikelets. Uh, so we use microscopes. It takes rather a long time. Um, we've collaborated uh, in a range of different ways in the last 10 years. Um, the tendency is for taxonomists and diversity scientists nowadays uh, to sequence lots of DNA and use that to infer evolutionary relationships. And that was indeed the bulk of our collaboration in the recent years, phylogenetics, phylogenomics, and documenting evolutionary lineages of Madagascar grasses. Um, using that to date their occurrence. Um, with Caroline Lehman's group, we've done a fair bit of functional ecology and functional traits work. A mycology we started, but there aren't really enough mycologists working in Madagascar at the moment that would need to be pursued. We had a look at the pollen of Malagasy grasses, hoping we could distinguish the species in the sedimentary record on their pollen. Uh, but actually, the Madagascar grass pollen looks kind of all the same. So it would be tricky. And here is my summary of really my thoughts of where gaps and future work needs to be for Madagascar grass biomes. So item number one, building the basic data that we're building, has barely begun. Um, and a very big obstacle is herbarium collections and expertise across the country of Madagascar. So recording and collecting needs to be done really on a much larger scale. Item number two is a big research gap that I find not many people are aware of. So we assume that everybody knows which organisms are native and which organisms arrived by anthropogenic means. And unfortunately, that's not true. Uh, Peria de la Bathy published extensive lists of plants he thought were non-native or invasive in Madagascar in the late 20th century. And he made some quite terrible errors. Um, so many grasses are ecological pioneers. Uh, we have rare endemic Malagasy grasses, which invade arable fields and they grow happily in the middle of the road, forming large dense stands. Um, and some tree focused old fashioned taxonomists will assume that if a grass is in the middle of the road, it means it's an invasive alien. Not true. Population genetics is expensive, so we need to do some serious weed science and some serious archival research. And last but not least, we have a serious gap in understanding the species niches of Madagascar grasses in the context of microbiomes um, and invertebrate relationships, um, as well as their mycological relationships. So strengthening entomology in Madagascar 
identifying those insects will let us identify um, the one-to-one -one relationships we often see between grasses and insects that have co-evolved. Um, these things are simply missing, um, it appears to me, from a lot of modern research in Madagascar. Uh, thank you very much to the workshop organisers. Very much looking forward to the next few days. Thank you. Goodbye.